So we have the, um, the NUS team from the National University of Singapore and IBM in Australia. Um, so they're the winners in the object detection with provided data category. Um, and Su Chen now will be given the uh, Thank you very much. Actually, this is a work between uh, NUS and also my former student currently in IBM Australia. Um, <coughs> It's my great pleasure for the second time to use the network in network. So network in network, the main purpose for uh, today's talk is to introduce that the network in network means Ning is good for some of the applications. So Ning, <coughs> you translate it into Chinese, that means Ning Hao. It's actually is hello. Right? So I think it's good for the time of the presentation. So last year actually we introduce the network in network. So I mentioned that the network in network actually is a particular thing with the nonlinear features in without the fully connected layer. So this is based on the observations on the CN, that is CN only use single linear convolution and uh, also use a fully connected uh, layer actually to achieve this kind of nonlinear classification. But the single layer sometimes is not strong enough to understand the local properties. So intuitively, so we can extend the linear convolution to a small network having any more complex theater. At the same time, because of the fully connected layer, actually the semantic meaning of the last convolution layer is not clear anymore. So we remove this fully connected layer. So finally, we have this network in network in this way. Yeah, so we can see that the filter is stronger and this fully connected layer is replaced by the global average pooling layer. So, so um, the first advantage of network in network is that the local filter will have stronger or better local abstraction capability because of the small network. Um, you can see that for each layer of this small network actually is an operation in the channel domain instead of the spatial domain. So that's why we call it as cascaded cross channel uh, metric pooling. For the efficient reason, actually implementation, the low layer of this, of this small networks will be shared for different features. So finally, essentially this CCCP is roughly equal to this kind of one-by-one -one convolution. Yeah. And, uh, because, and uh, at the same time, the fully connected layer is replaced by the global average fully, so we can have the exact or clear semantic meaning for the last, uh, for the last uh, layer, a uh, convolution layer, that is actually the confidence map for each category. So it means for different position, what is the confidence for different category? At the same time, as you know that for the CN, about 95% of the parameters is in the fully connected layer. So we, since we do not have this kind of fully connected layer, it's actually the parameter number has been reduced significantly. So in summary, actually the network in network have has a better local abstraction and the less global overfitting, and also we have much less parameters. As we showed last year, um, in the CIFAR chain and CIFAR 100, you can see that the network in network can beat most of state of the arts with much less parameters. So this year, we mainly explore how to utilize the network in network for different applications in internet and Pascal will see. So first, let's look at ImageNet. So we, for example, if we only use a very simple, this kind of four-layer network in network followed by the global average pooling, then we can train a model within four days. But the performance, actually its accuracy can be increased by about 1.5. And if you carefully check the parameter number, actually only one tenth of the average network. So this year, we also explored the network in network for this calculation task, but we explored different, also we explored different solutions, but forgot one, very important one, the deeper network in network, yeah. So finally, we noticed that a simple straight edge 
um, can get not so bad performance. That is, based on Zeno's algorithm, we insert the CCCP layer, so means network, small network layer, into different convolution layer. So in total, we just insert six, uh, six this kind of CCCP layers. Then finally, we, if based on one single model, then we can achieve about 10.91. But if we use the three models, we can achieve 9.79. We predict if we use, for example, 10 models, I think the performance should be around, between, should be between 8 to 9. Yeah. But you know, for university, the computation results is quite limited, so we only use the three models. Yeah. Okay, so as you, as you know, this is not deep enough. Yeah. So we also utilize network in network for object detection. So uh, we based on the region ZM from ROS. And replace the three uh, network by the network in network. We use the three model we just used. We also use the classification module we utilize for past C 2012 classification. And uh, use the classification result as context. And then we combine the result by context refinement. And we also utilize the adaptive long parametric replication as post processing we utilized last year for the past C classification task. So this is the network that we utilized, actually. And uh, we use the FC7 outputs as the features for SOM training. And, uh, and uh, to pre-train the model, actually we use the training data of the detection task. Because as you know, the training data, most uh, a large portion of the data actually is single label image. It's a little different compared with the testing data. So we use the training data for pre-training, but we use the training, the validation data, and the partial of the training data for fine tuning. So partial means for some categories, actually the number of samples is not enough. So we sample some of the samples from the training data to refine the model. So if we use one network in network, the MAP is 35 plus 6. If we use three, they can reach 36.5. If we use context, then we achieve 70. 37.4 now. So we use the final model for the detection. So the performance is 37.2. So actually it's average, it's quite simple. So it's a direct application of the network in network. At the same time, actually, we also explore the network in network for the Pascal C 2012 market label image classification. So we propose a pipeline called HCP, so it means hypothesis and CM plus pooling. So the idea is quite simple. It's actually similar to this kind of asking to some extent. That is, for each image, we actually generate a set of this kind of hypothesis. Actually, we only use a pain. And then, for each one, we run any this kind of CM, yeah, or network in network. Actually, we use the network in network. And then, for each hypothesis, you will have the output for different classes. Then you do cross hypothesis proving you get the final result. As you know that although this is multi label classification, but actually to some extent you are exploring single label image classification. So the advantage for this pipeline is that you do not need the ground truth bounding box. Yeah, because yeah, as you can see very easily, right? Because we have the hypothesis. And uh, it's robust to noisy or redundant hypothesis. If you have the bounding box from the background, then actually the Output will be very small for different classes. And if you have redundant because of the mass pooling, actually only one will be activated. And also, we do not need the explicit hypothesis label for different hypotheses. More importantly, the shared scene can be pre trained by a single label, actually, image data set, for example, this kind of image net. So you can see this is the latest result for the pass of VOC 2012. So in 2012, uh, sorry, uh, this year, in 2012, actually the best result is 82.2, actually from uh, my team and John team with um, uh, Panasonic. And this year, uh, Professor Zisman did the performance to 30, uh, 83.2. And if you use the HCP, but only one network in network uh, in the framework, we can achieve 86.8. If we combine the results from the MUS 
um, Panasonic solution in 2012 and HCP, then it can reach actually 91.4. So you can see a huge improvement. Yeah. And then <clears throat> let's see how actually this new pipeline work. So it means you have an image and then you generate some of these kind of hypothesis. We only use 10. Then for each one, we will have the output. So we, you can see, for example, this is the car. So it means only the car with high output, high compass output, the person, only person has large output. If there's no, actually, this type of object category, the output is quite small. So after max pooling, the human, the horse, and the, the car actually will pop out. Yeah. So here is the demo. Yeah, actually, you can upload the uh, photo and you can test. You can get a result by one second. Here is the result. You can see this image is quite interesting. We have six labels from Haskell C. You can see all the labels have been observed. This is the person, this is the bottle, this is the TV, this is the chair, this is the table. And this the plant is here, it's quite small, and the sapphire is here. So you can see that. So you can see that because of the low quality aware of the whole pipeline, the result from this pipeline is quite good.